Hey man, say man, it's your boy Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I'm rocking y'all can rock with me. Hey gang, like the video right now, bruh. Like the video right now, bruh. So I get 300 likes, you feel me? Look, you still watching and you ain't like this shit. You my biggest hater. You don't want to see me win. Nah, but I'm fucking with y'all. What up, gang? Hey, it been like seven months. I ain't realized y'all really fucked with my YouTube until I kept getting DMs like, yo, when you come back to YouTube, what happened to the YouTube? Why you left us? I'm like, damn, y'all really fucked with my videos, huh? But anyway, your boy is back. You know, some of y'all messaged me and I told y'all I'll be back to top of 2023. And here we are, you feel me? But yeah, first thing first before we get into today's video, right? Why did I stop making YouTube videos? I got burnt the fuck out, bro. That's why I tell you dudes, whether you guys go to the gym seven days a week, you fucking a million whores every day, or you working on your business every day, you need one week. I mean, you need one day out the week to fucking reset, bro. Or you're going to be on a hamster wheel, you know, and you're going to burn yourself out. So last year, I created my YouTube in January. And for four months, I was posting every single day, damn near, without taking breaks. And after a while, that shit felt like work. And I don't do nothing that felt like work, you feel me? So that's that. So look, in this video, fellas, we're going to talk about things that kill your confidence and self-esteem as a man, right? This going to have you thinking you're not doing enough. You're not worth enough. You're going to be feeling bad for yourself. But I'm here to help you out, right? So the first thing is, right, comparing yourself to other people, right? So everybody know I do trucking by now, right? I'm not a company owner. I mean, I'm not an owner operator, right? So I drive for a company, right? So the other day I went to a receiver, right? And a kid noticed me from TikTok. Well, he was 24, he's a grown man, right? And he owned his own truck. So I'm like, yo, bro, how much you make a month? He said 9K on a slow month, 12K on a good month. So basically this nigga make $100,000 a year. And you know what he told me? I feel like I'm not doing enough because all these dudes that's flexing on fucking Instagram, but he make damn near $120,000 a year. Or let's say a honey on the low side, right? I'm like, bruh, you don't realize you a fucking top 10% man at 24 years old? Most men don't become top earners until they're fucking, you know, 30 years old. When he told me that shit, I'm like, what the fuck? I know very few men personally in my real life, right, that makes $100,000 a year at fucking 24. I only know like two. Let me tell you something, bro. I don't compare myself to nobody but my old self. You know why? Because I'm improving every fucking day. I know a gym owner in fucking Connecticut, right? I used to go to this gym, and he's a millionaire. Me and him was tight. I'll sit in his office. He'll put me on a game about money and teach me things, right? Um, He told me, right? He was like, yo, I'm worth about, you know, $4 million. But in my network, I know a guy who makes $2 million a month. This dude he knows makes fucking his net worth in two fucking months. You get what I'm saying? And he was like, yo, bro, I don't hate on him. I get inspired. Like, you guys got to realize, right? There's always going to be somebody doing better than you and somebody that's doing worse than you. And that's what keeps me personally level-headed. I don't compare myself to, you know, other dating coaches on TikTok or YouTube. And so the next thing is not getting choosing signals. Girls aren't looking at you or you're getting rejected every time you go up to girls. And you know why? Because you didn't put the fucking work in, bro. You're making excuses. You're fat. You're out of shape, right? And let me tell you something. Accountability is key. A lot of people be like, oh, I don't have time to work out. Yes, the fuck you do. A one hour workout is 8% of your fucking day. Like yesterday. Like y'all don't realize we waste a lot of fucking time on social media, right? Yesterday, I was supposed to record two YouTube videos, right? But I didn't. I was on my phone from 6 to 9 p.m. Just scrolling, watching YouTube videos, wasting time, consuming content instead of producing content. And y'all be doing the same shit after work. And you telling me you don't got an hour to work out, 30 minutes of cardio, 30 minutes of calisthenics or lifting weights? You'll be trim blood. You'll be in shape. But you don't want it, right? Excuses are like fucking assholes. Everyone has one. Let me tell you something, bro. If you want to work out, you will. I work out in the truck stop shower, bro. Before I take a shower, bro, I do a thousand jumper jacks. I shadow box for six to eight rounds. I got the app on my phone. And I do 50 push-ups and 100 sit-ups. There's no fucking excuses. And before it got cold, I was outside running in the parking lots doing push-ups at the truck stops. Most truckers, bro, they get mad fat out here, bro. But me? Fuck no. Fuck no. When I started trucking, I told myself I ain't going to be a statistic. So that's that. If you want to do something, you fucking will. So yeah, stop fucking making excuses and get to fucking work, bro. You want to be an average nigga? Or you want to be the nigga when you walking in places, bitches is looking at you like, oh, who that? So, you know, get your haircuts, do your push-ups, do your cardio, and your tune signals is going to go up, you feel me? But here's another thing, right? If you're a good-looking dude and you're watching this and you get rejected in person here and there, don't feel bad, bro. We all get rejected. No matter how cute, rich, famous, how much money you got, every man faces rejection, bro. 
And you know what's crazy? Sometimes a bitch will reject you just to boost her ego. You feel me? Just put the work in and your rejection rate is going to be significantly less for a fact. You feel me? But that's that, man. So the next thing is, right? Self-sabotaging and not being responsible, right? You don't know how to say no to your friends when they want you to go outside with them to party. You're doing drugs. You're overindulging in porn and woman. Things that's taken from you, but that's not given to you or benefiting you, bro. I tell myself in 2024, I'm not doing nothing that takes from me. Money-wise, energy-wise, unless it's benefiting me in a positive shape or form on the flip side of it. I'm not drinking. I haven't ate meat since last year, bro. I'm challenging myself. Pause, relax. So y'all gay niggas, I'm like, oh my God, he's not eating meat. Fucking, f oh, I can't even say that word. I gotta chill, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, cut out all your vices, bro. Them vices is keeping you in the same position. Broke. Miserable, depressed. A lot of y'all don't got no purpose. That's why y'all indulge in these activities that you think is fucking fun, like drinking, partying, because you don't have a purpose. And this is how you feel that void in your life. Replace your vices with going to the gym. Helping out in the community. Oh, they're boring, right? Well, guess what? The boring shit helps you out in life. It makes you better. You're drinking. You're going home drunk. Now you're going to work late. You got to call out. You're doing drugs. You can overdose. But you know, y'all want to be fucking followers. Y'all want to fit in with the fucking crowd so fucking bad, bro. Replace all your vices with positive shit. Wendy's, McDonald's, all that bullshit. Cut that shit out, bro. Eat home-cooked meals. Healthy shit. Take charge of your fucking health and your body. Take charge of your finances. If your friends want you to go out next week and all you got is fucking $200 in your savings account, you should not be going out for the next five months. Stack that paper. That whole YOLO mindset is going to keep you broken in the same position year after year. And one day you're going to wake up when you're fucking 35. Like, what the fuck am I doing? And how the fuck am I still in the same position as I was 15 years ago? Guys, you have to break the cycle. Fuck all that YOLO shit, bro. Sacrifice the next year or two of just stacking and grinding. And go out probably once every four months and you're going to be okay. But that delayed gratification for a year or two could set you up 10 years in advance. I promise you, delayed gratification in this fucking life is your best friend. Everybody want instant gratification. Doing drugs right now, drinking, because that shit hit instantly. Fucking bitches, because that nut is instant, right? It released them endorphins. But it's all right, though. Them people, they're going to be in the same position. But if you delay gratification and you replace all your vices with positive shit, like going to the gym, eating healthy, helping out in the community helping out to homeless people, you're going to feel way much better after a certain amount of time. But anyway, your boy Hypey's here in his back. Like, comment, subscribe, comment, video idea, and topics you guys want me to talk about. I'm reading all your comments, and your boy is back consistently uploading three to four videos a week. Um, Keep rocking with me, because I'm rocking with y'all. And yeah, we out of here.